Watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. Since its beginnings, WIBW TV has held a strong commitment to our rural viewers and the agricultural community. We partnered with WIBW Radio as we continue to do today. That is how many of you came to know Kelly Lenz and Kathy Patton Strunk. Thank you both for coming back. I so appreciate it because you kind of are rock stars. When I first moved here, I remember going to the first ever farm show that I covered, and that was uh -huh. all anyone could say. Where's Kelly? Where's Kathy? I'm like, what? <laughs> and who are these people? Who are these yeah. people? Yeah. You have gone on, Kathy, to a Hall of Fame career. Yes, yeah. uh, what what are, what are you up to now? Well, grandkids, great grandkids, and still have cows and calves, so I still have those farm background roots. Oh, how fun! And Kelly, how have you been doing? What are you up to? I am retired, uh, <laughs> and my wife and I enjoy traveling. But we, COVID really put a, a wrench in that, and and some health issues I had. But we are home again. I and love it. Ready to do more traveling. In more ways than one, home here yes. as well. And I must tell a very, very quick story. Mm -hmm. um, I normally uh, was the moderator for the Midday in Kansas yes. program, mm -hmm. and Kathy filled in for me. Yeah. And I was, I was near Fairview, Kansas, which Kathy knows because she was from mm -hmm. that area. And I was with a farmer up there, and we were hunting. We took lunch that day, went to the little restaurant in Fairview. And for the first time, I'm looking at the program from the other side. Ah. And it was full of farmers. And the program came on, uh, weather, everybody was quiet. News came on, there were a few hushes. The ag report came on and you could hear a pin okay. drop. It's how you realize Kathy. the impact and, that and you And here have. I am tucked in the corner in a DeKalb cat, <laughs> a cat <laughs> looking as, <laughs> looking as inconspicuous as I possibly can. And it taught me a lesson uh, that people relied on that show and the agricultural mm -hmm. audience really relied on the information that Kathy was communicating with them. Well, you know, we looked in the archives oh. ahead of this uh, and uh, our chief photojournalist, Doug Brown, was like, uh -huh. you gotta see this video I found. But first of all, there is mm -hmm. something from one of uh, Kelly's more glorious appearances uh -huh. on the news, but then also you're going to see something that maybe illustrates just how long the two of you have known each other. Yep. <laughs> Kathy Patton, Director of Public Relations for the United Farm Wives of Kansas, appeared on Channel 13's Midday in Kansas program earlier today. And she summed up the feeling of the farm community this way. If the farm and ranchers have, have taken such a big 20 to 30 percent drop in profit in the past two months in the meat industry, where is this extra money going? I think we do have the right to know. So Kelly said six seconds is a very long time and the limp was real on that. But this, Kathy, was this even before you joined the farm team? And that's how Kelly hired me. was my PR volunteer position. Really? Yeah. How did yeah. you transition from that into doing farm reporting, Emmy winning farm reporting on a daily basis? I went from teaching school to teaching gifted farmers, I should say. Yes. <laughs> and Kelly. She did a great job. I, I got to tell you this, she was, I think, and Kathy may correct me, Farm broadcasting up until that point was primarily a men's profession. Mm -hmm. And then there was one woman who joined from Illinois, and I think Kathy was number two in the country. Wow. So truly uh, a groundbreaking career. Oh, we, we do have a photo of, of the farm team from mm -hmm. WIBW back yes. in the day as well, and Kelly and Kathy are both in this photo. But, but what does that mean to you? Did you realize at the time that you were breaking the ground that Kelly realized you no, were? No, I grew up on a farm where I was treated like my two brothers, so I didn't realize there was a difference with a female and male role in the workplace. So. How how proud of you are women in agriculture today? What do we need to realize about the women who are out there every day? Over 50% of farm broadcasters yeah. are female, mm -hmm. and yep. probably more like 60 or 70%. Well, they it's picked up on technology quicker than men yeah. did. <laughs> 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 what does it mean to you guys to have this legacy and this commitment to the agriculture it, community I, I still continuing? I think it means a lot. Mm -hmm. Kansas means a lot. Yeah. Kansas agriculture is, uh, in my opinion, it's, I was born and raised in Iowa, mm -hmm. Worked in, in Illinois for eight years. I came here and the people in agriculture in this state are, have the most incredible conservation ethic I've ever seen in my life. And Kathy, you still practice that today? 
try to, yes, yes. Yeah. every day. Yeah. yeah. What do you want to leave our viewers with? We have a few seconds. Give well, you a last word. Technology has changed, but mm -hmm. the passion for agriculture with Kelly and I probably have not changed. No, not at all. You not need at the all. passion to make it all work. Yeah. I appreciate you two coming back to share the memories because the radio TV part of the family, folks, even though we have different ownership, this was a big part of our history. It and was this a family. Is a great example of how you were and, part of the family. And you didn't even show any of our animal stories. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I got attacked Thanks, by guys. a turkey at Thanksgiving. Ah, that's for another day. Yeah. Bye, yeah. all. <laughs> Get the latest news, weather, and sports at WIBW.com or follow WIBW on X, Facebook, and 